broad as stories deeply sleeping. I see you on the plane within a dream. I open a memory to the vein. I find you in there, a cerulean. I see you ending the open hand. The wrist begins tenderly to caress. The white milky alloy so deep within and the marrow of the sense of things that is bone. These wings brought us stories deeply sleeping. My loss is vast into this room. This room fixed in broad base of concrete upon concrete street, all these rows of concrete images into the concrete grid, seen from the plane, twists of light posts seem like insects bearing coals in their jaws, and the tracks and docks and fierce hydraulic machines to be archetypal, archetypal architect, architecture made before time and without the hands. Everyone is dying to believe it. This room in a house on a street with numbers and name, a city in America, an ocean, the rhythms of words, we are between seas shining, the clouds whitely banking, and slate plains and shallow dreams, shadows dreaming, running over the tops of clouds. Swallowed into a pupil's profane geographies of light, amidst the green simplicities of the histories of the reasons, the scaffolding, and the devastating heavinesses of all the concrete forms and of happiness. This room with very large pieces of still malleable light. I see you, I am close to you wherever. Someone we do not know, but who shares this language, down there at the water's edge and the city edges into the deep, deep down where attention has shifted to. The snake-like twist twists liquid sinew. Then there is only the flow of fluttering sheets, pelts of liquid dark, below slow waving liquid dark, and stretched out exploded liquid dark perspectives. A gold engagement ring that shivered once when it fluttered to the bottom, a blooming eye of silt powder swallowed quickly in the carve of current that rushed deep down filtering gray in the light, a creep of dissolved painful letters, a dirty knife, and gloves, and gloves, and gloves cartwheeling through liquid dark in slow and vaudeville motion. A laptop wetly silent, a sodden book swelling the sating, mealing meat of its dissolute text, a shopping cart glinting tin silver and crooked shafts, these broken grids of honeyed yellow light, down in the airy, liquid black of blood's supple susurrus. At the water's surface, a sibilant outlone royals air turquoise and fumes not tendons through that third thin atmosphere, riding the symbiotic shearing between Black River through and banked artery of oxygen and satin visible above. Oxygen illuminating Roseport's artillery, brilliant light speed battery of silent diamond sound, and slow the smoke brilliance of everything dying really fast and without any real beauty. The dark Black River twists its thigh in the silk gray of sandy silk and the, blank, the black bank's trees thrust, muscle gnarled, muscle gnarled fists that command it to furl and even the water down blue of the sky. I see you even in the veins of this liquid and dark memory, that unknown someone there down at the edge. Ours is not his, hers not ours. Yet it is story we understand and beautifully share.